Am I under Lana? I think I am. <clears throat> okay. Um, I decided to do this live and maybe I should have waited uh, to do a little bit of research, but I'm, I, part of me doesn't even want to because um, I honestly, I, I am just kind of in a state of shock by all the negativity that keeps coming my way and all over social media and um, I just had to address it. So I know it's not everybody, so I don't, you know, want the fans that are very supportive and loving to ever think that I don't know that. I know that there are a handful of people that are hating right now and spewing negativity in the world and saying awful things to myself and on my page and on Twitter. And I just, I can't take it in. And um, it's just so unhealthy. And so my message today is I'm not going to sit there and go through everything and read about everything and see what this person's saying and that person's saying. I'm on set working and I'm not sitting here on my phone going through all these comments all the time and reading all this stuff on Twitter. And there's a reason why I shut down, I deactivated now both accounts because I go on there and I just see, did you see what so-and-so said? Did you see what so-and-so said? No, I have not seen what Sean has said. I don't want to because I don't want to read all this stuff and get roped into this negativity that I think is really, really unhealthy. So... um I um I'm starting to really not like social media at all. I just think it's a very toxic place. And um I think the important message is um that everyone should spend less time on social media and caring about what everyone is saying about them and about other people and maybe go focus on something else that's like super healthy and self-enhancing, like, I don't know, a run, a hike, a loved one, be with them, play a game, read a book. I, um, I come from a different era of time. Uh, I did not grow up in the social media world. Um, I'm in my 40s, so I don't put as much value on this as maybe some other people and I understand that and I respect it and get it but just not being in that you know um, age group of when people were growing up with social media it, it's it, for me this is a, a place of fun to to post pictures of places you've been things you like to do um, to promote a show that you're on and uh, you know, a character, connect with some fans and say nice, positive things and thank somebody and, I don't know, send a heart and a kiss. And, you know, I, that's what this is for, at least for me. And so, no, I don't want to go back there and look at whatever Sean had posted. I don't know what Sean had posted. I don't want to look at it. I am not Sean. I am Lana Perea. And um, I think because people say or do things and I may associate with them, it doesn't mean that I think like them, I shouldn't be friends with them, I should cancel them out. I, uh, you know, we can't control what people are going to say and do in the world. We just can't. And, um, you know, I think the best thing to do is try to put a positive message out there um, when someone is saying something that we don't like. 
we don't take enough time, and I say we, the collective, do not take enough time to teach, to genuinely teach. And um, we often just cut and cancel and block. And I, I, you know, I've had to block some of the negativity because I just, I don't like the way it makes me feel. You know, I can wake up feeling really great. And then I go check something or post something and I am bombarded with this awful, you know, just energy. And um, there's so many beautiful messages that people write. And and I, it, it takes ex- exerted effort to focus on that because the negativity can be so powerful sometimes. And it's so powerful that it has ruined people's lives. That is the downside of, of social media, that it has genuinely destroyed people. And that is really disheartening because we shouldn't value social media so much. Imagine a world without it. We wouldn't even know what people were thinking or saying or about us. And, and I, and I think that's a healthier place to be on some level. I don't know how long I'm going to actually keep social media going in my life. Um, I'm debating whether or not keeping any of this going. Um, but, uh, I, I just think it's it's very, very hard and and unfortunate. And um, there are a lot of people hiding behind these images, uh, a picture, an icon that's not even them. And they are saying things that have such a negative effect on people and destroying and ruining their days. And I just ask you, what kind of person do you want to be in the world? I don't want to be that kind of person that's going to hurt someone or, you know, infect them with negativity. That's not who I want to be in the world. So I think everyone needs to pause. Think about what you want to say. You know, it's, it's like even hard to prepare for this. I think I was just sitting here. I came home from work and I was like feeling pretty good and... And then I was looking at some of the comments on Instagram and I read, have you seen this on Twitter? And I'm just like, oh my God, I more stuff? Really? It's so disappointing. And I, um, I don't want to have a platform where people can just write so much negativity. So I've shut my Twitter accounts, plural, down. Um, and for those of you that, you know, have intentionally tried to cause this and create it, um, you know, congratulations to you, but, uh, you know, my page is not available for people anymore because all the good people that do support me and the show or this fandom, um, they don't need to have their days infected and they definitely don't need to spend a, a 30 a second thinking about how to respond or how to defend me or the show or people I am affiliated with I, I i personally don't want you to spend your any moments of your life focusing on that i just don't there are much more important things to focus on in the world than um, these quote-unquote ships uh, that are fantastical from a TV show. Um, They're not even real. They are made-up characters to tell a really cool story. (laughs) And, um, you know, we are actors portraying characters that are fictional. And to pin people against each other because they support this ship or that ship... I mean, I just ask you, is that the kind of person you want to be in the world? Causing chaos and um, negativity over fictional characters on television? Um, So, (laughs) I am not even fully undressed from coming home from work. And um, 
I am now doing this. This is not how I'd like to spend my evening, but I think it's critical to speak to the fans um, who are affected by this grossness that people are putting out there. And I, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I can say that it is, um, it's frustrating, um, you know, being on this end of it, reading certain things and being attacked by some fans or ex-fans, um, being labeled by them too is very unhealthy and unfair. And, um, anyway, I, I don't know what more to say. (laughs) Someone's asking if I cut my hair. No, I didn't. It's just somewhat in Rita fashion. Um, but, um, I just, I had to share this because I think a lot of people are confused. Like, why did she shut, you know, her Twitter account? Because Twitter to me is just a bunch of, of, you know, negativity that I don't want to see anymore. I just don't want to see it. And, you know, it's like if what's going to affect you in the world is, is reading negativity, looking at the darkness, constantly watching the horrible things happening on the news. Like your days are going to be filled with fear and ugliness. Like I can't live like that. I don't want anyone to live like that. I I highly advise everybody to find balance in their lives and um, some semblance of, of happiness or some positivity. <laughs> um. And, um, yeah, it says the fans were not the toxic ones. We're calling out Sean. Sean was toxic and mean. Okay, I'm sorry Sean was toxic and mean. But um, to then look at me and say, you can't be friends with Sean, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, for, for people who has, you know, siblings who don't support um, their gender identity or their sexual preference um, uh, or friends or family members who, who are in
posting or Sean or a lot of people on Twitter, I'm not paying attention to Twitter as much. I was only through Keep a Regal Boutique. And then I posted a picture today and everyone attacked it. And I'm like, okay, why? So I'm confused. Oh, good. There's light. So can you, can you see me good? Can you yeah, see me yeah. good? I look a little raggedy, but that's um, okay. Yeah. But I think it's really important. You know, some people are saying, don't waste your time doing this. But, you know, I think it's really an important lesson for everybody because I think that everyone assumes that I'm, that everybody is reading everything and we're spending hours and hours and hours of our day on Twitter reading what people are saying. And I'm sorry, I'm here to tell you, I'm not. <laughs> like, that's not what I'm doing. So, no, I have no idea what Sean has said and, and I don't know. And it, I'm sorry for what he said and if he offended people, but this is, should not be placed on me. You know, you're right. And so, it's most and so of the time it I won't think, be placed on you. I'm sorry. I said most of it is not being placed on you because most of it is actually being placed on Sean because you haven't been on social media and he has. He's been saying all of his comments is that's not wrong. Um, that's not right at all. Clearly. Okay. So then, so then maybe you should address it with Sean and lead me out of this because this isn't. This is this isn't fair. So I shut down my Twitter accounts because the negativity is just so bad and toxic for the people that are, you know, not focusing on this stuff. And and, and it's and it's been really really heartbreaking. So I'm just, you know, I'm curious why. Uh, <clears throat> I, I, I mean, I think about like, you know, people in our lives that say awful things. I feel like, okay, then we can deal with that person directly. But like, you know, Sean, if, if you're not liking Sean or what he's saying, then maybe just don't read anything that he posts. Don't get involved. Disconnect from it completely. Like if I don't like, I might disconnect from everybody after this, to be honest with you, because it's just mm -hmm. so ugly and gross and there's so much ugliness in the world right now why are we why are we getting then don't follow him disconnect from him walk away from it but the more you engage the more you're putting yourself in the line of fire you know so just disconnect and i think that's the best thing to do i mean yes people i agree so, so then maybe that's the stance you take, you know, keep me out of it. If you have an issue with somebody, then have that issue with that person. Don't drag me in with it. Okay. That's first and foremost. And, yes. you know, I, but I wait, mean, it's I like if you got in a fight with some, am I going to drag you into an argument with somebody that I'm not, I mean, I don't, why? You guys got to you guys got to be fair to people in the world. You just do. You just do. And it's so easy to write all this stuff, but you guys got to be fair to people in the world. If you got an issue with one person, deal with that. Don't start dragging in other people and his friends and they should be saying this and they should be saying that, especially to the people that have no idea what the hell's going on. Like me. Well, see, you were dragged into it because well, you're a part of it. Cuz remember the fan, well, this all started because of the Brazilian fan the one with the bad inner the bad internet that was added to your life. Um, yeah, her. This all started because of that. And everyone felt some type of I don't know if you paid attention or anything or if you knew about it, but everyone felt some type of way because um that was rude about how y'all just kicked her off the live and how you couldn't hear her good. Um because her English wasn't good I guess. And Actually, then, you know what? I'm right here. You can ask me these questions instead of assuming and letting other people tell you what they thought actually took place. But you said, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yes. You and your bestie, Sean McGuire. Yes. Both of you said that the connection with the fan wasn't good at all. And that her English wasn't good either. So uh, actually, why, it off. why don't you, that's actually not what happened. That's not, that's not what happened. Can that's you, not what, happened, what but, happened but you can but you can go ahead and perceive it that way but i but that's not what happened 
That's okay, not at all what happened. You. Can you tell the me connect- what happened? Yes, absolutely. The connection was bad. And if you, if you watch the whole thing, um, we asked every single person where they were from. Reason being, because we take interest in knowing where people are from because we have fans globally. Like, I like to know where people are from. By the way, I work with someone today. I was like, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Really? What part? Oh, I'm from the North. Oh my God. That's so funny. I've been there. I know people from there. It's a very common thing for, it's actually polite. You're taking interest in somebody, asking them where they're from, taking interest. When I spoke to the Brazilian girl, I heard her voice and I can hear that she was Brazilian because I spent so much time interacting with Brazilians that I can hear her accent. I knew she was Brazilian. And I was like, her fervent, her fervent meaning passion, her excitement is what to me conveyed, she's from Brazil. I knew from her, the tone in her voice because I spent so much time getting to know my fans that I can, just like the one girl goes, I just, oh, she's from Italy. I knew she was from Italy. That's what it was. So the connection was bad and we couldn't hear her very well. That's not why no one kicked anybody off other than we're trying to get through and we only had the countdown was going and we only had like a couple minutes left or whatever it was, excuse me, whatever it was before we lost connection. So, you know, it's, it's like these things that are being perceived, you know, they say there's, there's, you know, your story, my story and the truth, you know, that's what they say all the time. So, I just think everyone's so quick to judge as opposed to really kind of going, wait, what, what happened? So when we got off that live, I thought, my God, we spent some time, you know, get connecting with fans because we haven't in so long. And we thought they would love to see us together. And we made it fun. And we took two hours out of our Sunday because we had to travel, drive, meet up, have lunch, go live, blah, 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 to meet up with the fans and to connect with them. And they turned it into a negative thing. And that's really what hurt me more than anything. So, you know, it's, it's, it's like, wow, no good deed goes unpunished. And that's a very, you know, that's a very uh, popular saying when you're trying to do something good and it backfires. And so I don't want to do this anymore. Like I'm doing it live now because I, because I felt like, wow, I, I should connect with the people that are very confused and the people that are, are you know, angry and, and, and they feel like, you know, they've been wronged. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm literally like in the door, I'm like, what the hell's going on? And what did I do? What happened? And so I had to click on you because you're saying so much. I really needed to understand what's going on, but um it, it's it's yeah, not I'm very it's vocal. Not, I'm very sorry. Yeah, it's not it's not what you think, and it's not what a lot of people think. Now, I can't speak for Sean. Sean's his own person. He's a grown man. He's going to say whatever he's going to say. You know, he's very very vocal. He's very active about, and he's very political. And he's, you know, he says a lot of things that a people a lot of people don't like, and that's that's what you're getting with Sean McGuire. That's how he can be. Okay, like. That doesn't reflect on me in any way. I'm my own person, you know, and and I shouldn't be judged by what someone else is saying. And I think that's a lesson for everybody, which is also why I'm going, I wanted to do this, you know, because, you know, you shouldn't be punished for something that your sister or brother or your best friend has said. Why should you get in trouble for that if you didn't say it and you don't even know what the hell's going on? So, you know, this is a, this is a message to our youth too and i and i don't know how old you are but i'm you know 43 years old and i didn't grow up in this world of social media and all this stuff and people blah 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 saying all the stuff that they could say oh, this is okay. not i didn't grow up like that you know this this was a platform for me to share photos i you know nice memories etc but the negativity that's come out of it is is uh, very toxic it wasn't always like that um well Wait, can you still hear me? 
Oh, I can hear you. I, you're okay, like good. frozen, but I can hear you. So. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on FaceTime, so that's probably. It's probably okay. Good. It's but, all right. Um, how so I, I hope that's cleared up some things. It has, but how I was raised. Um, if my sibling said something, and this just did happen recently, actually, like maybe like ten minutes ago, if they said something and I knew they said it. If you I knew do, is do. the question. Yeah, if trouble. you knew is the most important thing. Yeah. If you but... knew, I don't know what he said. So I'm asking you to not judge me for something that I am in the dark about. Do you understand? Yes. And I'm not trying to Thank judge you. you per se. No, everyone, a likes... lot of people have. And, and you did in the beginning of this phone call. You assumed that I knew something and had information when I didn't. Instead of asking so me, do you know, do you know what Sean said is really how you should have pr pr uh, started the conversation. Are you aware of what Sean said? I would have said, no, I have no clue. What did he say? Then you could tell me and I can go, all right, that's not kind of, that's not cool. I wouldn't have said that. But, but you. So would you have said something to him about it and told I, him to properly apologize to everyone that he has affected? You know what? I probably would. Absolutely. If I said, you know what? That was not cool. You should probably, you know, say you're sorry. Because I know he said he's sorry to, about other things that he has said. But I honestly have no clue, you guys. Like, I have to tell you, I, I'm not sitting there reading Sean's posts. Like, I have better things to do with my time. Sorry to, you know, I know you guys want to read his posts all day. That's fine. But I'm not. Ooh. So... You know, that's, that's, that's where I'm coming from. So don't judge me and expect me to do something if I don't know about it. I'm pissed about that. I don't think that's cool. I see. So, so this whole time, basically this whole time, like the whole, while you're- The whole time that I've been at work since 4 a.m.? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're talking about? The whole time no, that I've been I'm filming all day? Because that's what I've been Your doing? Twitter account has been deactivated. The whole time you just were completely oblivious to the whole situation? Yes, I was. Uh, I know that okay. he, people were pissed off from the live we did, and that was it. So, you know, I don't know what to tell you. You know, you can unfollow, you can block, you can do whatever. With oh, me, no. you can judge me till you're blue in the face. You can take my words as truth or not. But... This is happening for a reason. All this, I chose you for a reason. Because you had a lot to say. And yes, you had a lot to say, cool. and you had a lot to judge, and you had no idea what my reality was. Okay. So, that's my reality. I don't know what's going on. It makes me sad. Sean's not even in this country. I don't know, you know, he's with his family somewhere. And, you know. Okay. So. I texted him saying, I don't know what the hell's going on on Twitter, but, like, I've deactivated my accounts. I can't deal with this. Because I don't know what the hell's going on. So I said, what the hell's going on? I have not heard okay. back. So, you know, that's it. So, you know, I don't have to sit here. And a lot of people are going, you don't have to explain yourself. But the... I think the message is important. It's a, it's a bigger issue. The, the issue is we're too quick to judge people without taking interest and asking questions. And I think that's really critical. Well, we can't ask you questions if your account is deactivated. Well, right, your... right now you're asking me questions. Is this, well, is this, yes. cause, cause I have no interest in arguing with you. I'm not you're going to argue with you, Miss Korea. I love you very much. I just okay. Well, you. then that's great. But and thank you. But like, it it doesn't feel that way. So I can just tell you that it doesn't feel that way. You know. So you can you can, and all of you who who think the way you know the the people in your circle who are creating all this negativity, um, you all can decide what you want to believe but I'm telling you my truth. So you can take that. Um, I, I, I don't even know if I wanna keep doing any of this anymore because it's just so gross. I've had better time. My mother's here, my dad, you know, I'd like to I just finish work after whatever, however many hours. 
like to sit down and, and rest, but this was very disturbing, so I had to address it. Um, so, you know, mm -hmm. I hope that this has cleared some things up, but. Yes, it's cleared that you had no idea what's been going on. Great. And you came onto this live to hopefully clear up and tell everyone that you still don't know what's going on. Well, you know now, because, well, we had this pleasant conversation that I'm very happy about, actually. But um, Yeah, and, you know, I, I won't know anything until I speak to Sean and try to understand what's going on. So I, I honestly don't know. So, you know, I'm sorry that this has all gotten really ugly. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, I honestly... There's a part of me that doesn't even want to go there and just like, and it's not called ignorance. It's just like, I don't know. I mean, I think that, you know, celebrities connecting with fans is a, a very new thing that's happened in the last 10 years. And I can understand why a lot of people don't want to, you know, be on social media because there's so much negativity that comes at them. They get judged and torn apart for this, that, that comment. You like somebody, you don't like somebody, you're friends with this person, you're not friends. I mean, I, I, I just remember the world being a lot simpler when growing up and, and you didn't have to live with other people who you've never met and never seen. And even their icon picture isn't even them saying awful things to you and causing you to do awful things to yourself or feeling less about yourself. And I see that happening so much amongst the fans and the youth. And it makes me so sick inside. Because a lot of people are really beautiful. But you have this one or two or three people that have something negative to say in that, whole, that person's life, that whole day, the month, the, the insecurities that build. I mean, is that fair to do to people in the world? No, Especially if you don't know them fair. and you've never met them. It's not. And because I hope people don't do that to you. I hope no, people don't do that. People too. don't cyber bully me because, well, I take my time off of social media to get myself collected and together. Well, then like you're one day. of the smart ones, but not everybody is like that. So I hope this message goes out to a lot of people that, you know, the hate on here is, is easy to get wrapped up in. But honestly, it's, it's really bad. And this other girl, please don't hang up this ignorance. Don't feed into it. I don't, I don't Ooh, know. The, is her saying. name Jasmine zero eight something? Yeah. Hmm. I would not. No, ever, Janie A W twenty seven. Oh, I don't know who that is. Listen, I I I don't know. That's the thing. People are gonna say a million awful things, and and I I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. So you know, I just I can tell you that it doesn't make me want to be a part of this world anymore. My world is really beautiful. And when I connect in this way to people that saying, oh, it just, it's toxic. It's really toxic. It's not fun. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, I don't know. It's just, it's turned me off to a lot of things. Um, social media, all of it. And um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do moving forward. But um you know, people really need to think twice about reacting to everything because it's uh, it, it's 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 just really damaging. So mm -hmm. anyway, um, I, I again, you know my name. I don't know yours. What's your oh, name? Oh, my name's Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Yeah, we met last year, but she didn't know. Okay, well, it's hard to see. I'm only getting your nose, your eyes, and oh, it's not okay. half of your nose, and you're frozen. Can you see me? Oh, oh you're frozen. frozen. You're frozen. So, um, oh, awesome, good picture of me. That's, but I don't know, you know this this eyes. fandom has been, um, you know, a lot of us from Once Upon a Time have invested in this fandom for years now. So the stuff that. Traveling the world, meeting all the fans globally, and we've gotten to know them, um, you know, personally, we've gotten to know their names, we've gotten to meet their families. So, you know, when people say, don't let this affect you, move on, don't get caught up in it, it actually does affect me, because I, I do care about the fans.
I care about how this negativity is not just infecting myself, but them. So I'm here to defend all of them and, and those who feel wronged. Let's stop this shit, man. Let's just stop mm -hmm. with the darkness. You know, don't get caught up in it. Someone's going to say something stupid. Walk away, man. Walk away. You know, you want to say something intelligent back? Fine. You want to you wanna say something to defend yourself and close the door? Then do it. But getting caught up in it and letting yourself spiral in this darkness is really unhealthy for you. So I highly recommend to all of you who get wrapped up in this stuff, just do the opposite, please, because it will serve you better. All right? Otherwise, it's like I'm going to be gone forever on this stuff. <laughs> I'm like, peace. Um, I I'll live my life this, privately and quietly and not I have to deal with the banter. If I were you, Miss Priya, after this, uh, see, if I were in your shoes, because I know that this has been going on for a lot, like nine years, over nine years, because you've been off once upon a time. I don't want to know. But um, if I were you, I wouldn't pay any attention to it, honestly, because there are people like me that are very vocal and stuff, and there, there's also people that are going to send you hate comments, and then there's also people that are also going to tell you how much they love you, which is very nice and sweet. Right. But, I mean, I'm not saying ignore them, but... Um, well, let me ask you something. Things. Would you want to hang out with a bunch of people who are calling you xenophobic, homophobic, you know, ugly this, that, bringing in, you know, your family and badgering you? And, or would you want to read the comments that, are, you know, people are saying, wow, you were so great last night or, you know, you looked great today and it's so nice to see you and you have my love and support. You, who do you want to hang out with? I'd rather hang out with well, those I mean, people, right? Oh, I'm only I'm saying for me, I'm saying I'd be in the middle because the people that are telling me that I did great and stuff, they could be lying. And the people that are also calling me xenophobic and other phobic names, they're also lying. So well, I don't know. Well, they're lying, but telling the truth. I don't know. You know what I'm saying, love? I think you got to you got to say if you could trust those people who are saying nice things out of your friends. Do you want to hang out with the people that are bullying you? Or do you want to hang out with the people who are your friends? That's really what it boils down to. Yeah, so to you, you make that choice for yourself. And all of you who are watching this, who are caught up in this crap too, like just please. And I say crap meaning the back and forth and the pointing and the accusing and the blaming and the name calling. Just walk away. Mm -hmm. It's the healthiest thing you could do. You got something to say, be respectful about it. I'm not responsible for other people who aren't saying respectful things. This is a message to all of you who are spending way too much time getting wrapped up in this stuff. So. Oh, am I still frozen? <laughs> yeah, you're still frozen. Oh, really? But oh, yeah. um, it's all right. You have a spiraling circle on your forehead, but. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so anyway, this message is for everybody. All these people who have these comments of saying some positive things, some negative things, you know, and people who are saying get off and hang up on you. I'm not because I think that there's a, a more important message here. And, you know, and I appreciate that you're standing up for your friends and you're defending your friends as you should, you know, as you should. So, you know, I, it doesn't bother me. And, and it doesn't bother me that you're, you're like, well, what about this? What about that? That's, that's fine. I can answer all those questions. But, um, you know, I, I feel at least there's been some resolve with us. And if that's one person out of however many are having difficulty, then I feel good about that. But, um, you know, I, there's about 4,000 people watching right now. So I know some of them are your friends. And I hope that that, that uh, this is helpful to them to, uh, to take this lesson and apply it to every area of their life, not just the once upon a time casts, but like people in your life. Don't be so quick to judge. Take interest, ask questions, and then think about what you want to do with that information. That's the best thing to do. And really trust advice. me, I'm not sitting here reading all this stuff all the time. I, I honestly, I don't, I don't have the time. And, you know, I, I like to stay creative and do things and I'll like pictures and stuff and I'll go through some comments, but there, there's a lot to go through. And I, and I often find that it can be, uh, you know, there's, 
there's a lot of creative ways to spend your time um, away from the devices that are just brainwashing us daily. So um, I like to look out and look at the things that are tangible, like, you know, walking in nature and connecting to real people that I can touch sometimes, <laughs> like, you know, connecting FaceTime if you have to, I get it. Like these devices serve to a degree and then it can be also very toxic. So just, you know, find the balance in your life is what I, um, I'm looking at you. It looks like I'm looking down, but I'm, I'm trying to look at you even though you're frozen. <laughs> I'm still looking in your eyes. But um, anyway, that's, that's, that's the message I wanted to, uh, to share today. And, um, and, I, and, I, and I am not going to sit here and defend myself anymore. This was, you're the one person I'm going to connect with. Um, so we can at least get some of this cleared up. And, um, and, you know, even if I do tell Sean what I feel and think, he's going to take that information and do as he so chooses. You know, I, I can't sit there and, and, you know, reprimand a grown, a grown person, tell them how to behave. You know, we, we, we can say, hey, I don't think that's cool. I think maybe you should apologize. We have a big fandom here and there's a lot of love and a lot of confusion. Find a way to, you know, make up for it. It's the only thing I could do. But I'm no one's mother. I'm no one's, you know, I'm not a, I am a woman in this world with a life, with my family. And, you know, um, I do the best I can with, you know, trying to be there for everybody's in the, in the fandom and show love and support and gratitude and, and, and keep everyone, you know, involved. And, and, you know, I, I just, um, I just hope that this stuff turns around and I know it's a crazy time, especially with COVID and the quarantine and everybody's losing it and everyone's finding stuff to latch on to and maybe get off social media for a while. <laughs> so I recommend, um, you know, just do the opposite of what you do every day for a change. It could be good for you. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right. I appreciate you taking the time, even though I picked you out of the bunch. Um, oh, yeah, so you're about to get declined by accident. No, I, I, I literally just clicked on you and requested you. I, I didn't even go under the requests. I just saw your words in bold, and I felt like, okay, I'm going to just click on her and, and have a conversation. So anyway, um, do you have anything else to say before we hang up? Is there anything else? Um. Yes. Would you like to accept my message request so you can see what I look like? Oh, shit. Um, oh, well, it's not right now, but um, somewhat later. Yeah, I, I, I can try to find you again. I honestly don't even know what I, I clicked on your name. I don't, I got to figure it out. But um, I think I do know what you look like because if I've met you before, I'm not quite sure you have. Oh, a, I didn't have glasses at the time, and um, I looked yes, out. Yes, and you have so. a wrap around your head, so it's hard to see. I can only see this much. This is what I'm seeing. That's so actually, really good. Considering how I'm frozen, that's even better. All right. Well, go in peace, and um, and my my Twitter account is no. Both accounts have been de deactivated. So, um, for those who. Um, we're on it. I'm sorry who were supportive and loving. For the, I'm sorry, but I had to do what was best for me. And I made a decision what was best for the collective um, because it just got too ugly. And I just, I didn't, I didn't want to be associated to that anymore. So, all right. I don't know where you are in the world, but now you're frozen. I can't hear you. So I'm going to hang up. I thank you. I'm not getting rid of you. I'm hanging up, <laughs> okay? And um, go in peace, everybody. And uh, again, spread love, not hate. Go in peace, everybody. And uh, again, spread love, not hate.